In question 4, we're asked to find the exact value of the gradient of the curve y is equal to the root of 4x minus 7 plus 4x over 2x plus 1 at the point for which x is equal to 4. So let's just rewrite this to begin with. y is equal to 4x minus 7 to the power of 1 half plus now our quotient of 4x over 2x plus 1. If we want the gradient, we need dy by dx. So we need to differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to x. So if I now use the chain rule on the first part, dy by dx, I multiply it down by the power, which will be now 1 half. I rewrite the inside function. I drop the power by 1, which will be minus 1 half and then multiply through by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 4x minus 7 is 4. We now have a quotient, and I'm going to use the quotient rule. So we'll let u be equal to 4x. du dx is going to be 4. v is going to be 2x plus 1. And dv dx is going to be 2. So this now is u. This is du dx, we have v, and we have dv dx. Using now the quotient rule, we can say that dy by dx will be equal to v du dx, minus now u dv dx, all over v squared. So what I'm going to have then is the following. I'm going to add now to this expression, the multiple of 4 and 2x plus 1. So we'll have 4 lots of 2x plus 1 minus the multiple of 4x and 2. So minus 2 lots of 4x. And then we divide that by v squared, which is 2x plus 1 all squared. So I've applied both the chain and the quotient rule to the problem. At this stage, we can simply go ahead and sub x is equal to 4 in. You might want to tidy this up and just tidy this up. We can have dy by dx. The 4 and the 1 half will cancel. We will have 2 over the square root of 4x minus 7. That's simply using rules of indices. Here we're going to have 8x plus 4 minus 8x, which is going to give us 4 over 2x plus 1 all squared. So we're not asked to simplify, we're just asked now for the gradient or for, to find the gradient when x is equal to 4. So we can write now when x is equal to 4, dy by dx, the gradient will be 2 over, and we're going to have now 4 lots of 4 minus 7, which is going to be 9. So we've got the square root of 9 plus 4 over, and we're going to have 9 squared. So we'll have 9 squared. We can put this through a calculator or work it out manually. That's going to be 2 over 3 plus 4 over 81. If I convert this up, I can multiply this by 27. So 54 plus 4 over the common denominator of 81, which gives me 58 over 81. So that's the final answer. You can certainly use a calculator for that, and you don't have to simplify, but the final answer should now be 58 over 81.